prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. Week two football action. North Shore traveling to take on the Salmon Spartans. Let's bring in Coach Tiger Edwards for more analysis. Coach, this has become a pretty fierce rivalry in recent years. Well, it has been for a long time. However, North Shore has had the upside on it. A 21-14 victory in the first round of the playoffs last year. Salmon and Coach Shooter thinking this year maybe they might have the edge going into this one. Game one, a loss for North Shore, a win for Salmon. Um, we're going to get to see Donovan Wildbacker for the Panthers, and we're going to get to see Cameron Dorsey and Jacoby Jefferson. Remember that, Jefferson, Jacoby Jefferson. Watch to see if he runs wild tonight. Coach, thank you. We'll have more analysis from the press box. We spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say, and we'll get to the action. Coach, big win week one. What are you telling your team coming into this matchup tonight? Well, 24 hours. We're either going to be, well, less than 24 hours. We're either going to be 2-0 and or 1-1. and So it's just another ball game. We just got to fight hard. and It's going to be a four-quarter four, four football game. What's it going to take to beat a team like North Shore? Four quarters. Bottom line, four quarters. And we got to make the plays when the plays present themselves. Coach, last week didn't go the way you wanted to, so what are you telling your guys to uh, bounce back this week? Uh, the big thing we told them this week is we need to have a real good week of practice. You know, that was the big thing. I didn't think we had a very good week of practice, and, uh, you know, that's really what it boils down to. You know, we couldn't be execute basic offense. We couldn't really execute at a high level, and that's kind of what we need to do. So practice this week was a lot better, and, uh, you know, hopefully it shows tonight. This is a fierce rivalry matchup. Uh, how are you managing emotions? We try to treat every game the same, you know, so um, – like I told you, all season, the big thing we want to do is be consistent, you know. And and last week we kind of we were lacking energy and stuff, and saw some of the same things I saw last year. So, um, you know, the big thing is just being the best us that we could be, and that's try what we kind of we focus on week in and week out, regardless of opponent. Because last year at times in the first game against these guys, we had an offensive explosion. Then against Slidell week ten, we had a defensive kind of really showdown where our defense played, you know, really well. And, um, you know, the big thing is where was that all year? Where was that consistency all year? And that's kind of what we're looking for, you know? So that's really the big thing. I'm not, don't worry about the rivalry, you know, nameless, faceless opponent. And um, just come out here and do what we're supposed to do, you know? Barricott to kick this one away to get this one started. Scott and Williams back deep to return. It'll be Scott on the return. And He'll be brought down at about the 30 yard line. Loose ball. Salmon says they have it. We're going to see. Stand by. Let's see what the call is. And they say still North Shore ball. So we'll get our first look at uh, Donovan Wabacher and company. As North Shore comes out offensively, looking to rebound from that game last week. Yeah, it played a uh, tough Dutchtown. Dutchtown's always tough. Always got a good team. But. They beat Dutchtown last year. So, you know, what does that portend? We don't know. You know why? It's It was game number one. This is game number two. We'll only know down the line. But we'll have a better idea this evening, too. Wabacher calls for it. Give goes to Cherry. And Cherry is bottled up and brought down in the backfield. Tackle for a loss by uh, Jenkins. You know, I like those jerseys that Salmon's wearing, but you cannot read those numbers when they Stop turn sideways. Six, How about this second, second down, down, but uh, this beautiful turf here at Salmon. Oh, man, everything's new here. Calling for it, Wabacher, and oh, man, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a – that got discombobulated from the start. <laughs> Running back ran into Wabacher and uh, brought down in the backfield for another loss. So third and, uh, third and 16. Two plays. Two times tackle for a loss. Doesn't bode well early right here. Offensive line having trouble with the front, the front six or five or whatever. Um, they're rushing of uh, Salmon. 
Third down as Wabacher gets the play from the sideline. I want to say the front seven, but then, then I looked at the numbers and it's really six. Calling for it, looking to pass here. Wabacher throws, and it is oh, oh, out of the hands. Three my hands. goodness. Incomplete oh, intended there for wee. Hanrahan. Ooh. My goodness. His favorite receiver right there. And um, did you watch Kansas City last night? A little bit. Drop balls, drop balls, drop balls. And that's what you can't do. Like he, like at the last second, used that speed, and Hanrahan was open. Didn't bring it in. Going to force a punt. And watching a North Shore punt unit in warm-ups, they can punt it pretty far. Yes, he, he was really good. And he's, he's a late arriver to the party. Yeah, the snapper is Simmons. And let's see, there's oh, a delay of game, game called Ooh. on the Panthers. <laughs> So now he'll have to put even more of a charge into it. it. Put that under Coach Sanders' checklist. The one thing you don't want to do is have a uh, special team snafu, right? Everybody, ha you know you're on that team. You need to be on the field. You need to be on third down. He needed to be on the sideline ready to get Have out the there. alert back to your team. Yeah, exactly. Simmons snaps it back, and it – oh, no, he, he mishandled it. Now he's running. And has room to work with. Still coming down at near sideline. And he's brought out of bounds. That is pretty cool. He's about a yard short. Yeah. But that might uh, be a little bit more than a yard. But uh, turnover on downs regardless. Wow. Great man, field position now for Salmon. That's too early in, in the first possession. Too early mistakes by the North Shore Panthers. So we see... Great field position here for the Spartan offense. And they were potent last week, so that is not something you want to give them. Jacoby Jefferson behind Dorsey. It's a toss to Jefferson. Ooh. Right side looking to bring it up. He gets there, racing down the sideline before going out of bounds. And it will depend on where they spot it. He might be a yard shy. Let's see. Or oh, they're moving. It's nope. a first down. It's a first down. Man, he, the speed for Jefferson got to the corner. I, I, I don't know if you heard me. I went, ooh, somebody got leveled blocking-wise there. Really good job by the offensive lineman. Lined up. They, they, they you know, man, 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 manned up on their man and, and was able to move them. Second down, slung out, and now that will be a first down as it's complete to uh, Jalen Robinson. Well, they moved it, and then they moved it uh, back. back. <laughs> I guess they were, that was the, uh, are you paying attention? <laughs> we, last week, whenever there were certain miscues, we kept saying week one, week one, week one. Yeah. 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 Week, week two? Right. <laughs> Even the <laughs> so a fresh set of downs here for the Spartans, 936 to go here in the first. Calling for it, looking to pass, and dumps it off. Racing forward, that's Jefferson, and he goes out of bounds at about the 12. Just a out, little out route, clear, clear out with the wide receivers, run him out in the flat, hit him with the ball, and you know what he can do. First down. Yeah, tremendous athlete for the Spartans. Dorsey with the toss to Jefferson. Jefferson cuts it up. Field breaking through defenders and eventually brought down a flag. A flag comes, comes out. out. That's uh, Fugate on the tackle. Let's see what this flag is. They went with the toss that time and uh, might be in that area is probably going to be holding. They're talking about it. Where, where did it happen? It's going to go 10 yards back from there. And uh oh, oh personal, personal foul. foul. A blindside block. Wow. Okay. Well, hadn't seen that in a while. Of course, it is the beginning of the season. So that will make it ooh, first in a mile. 
Might even first in Lake Pontchartrain in that direction. For real. <laughs> but Salmon can break off yards pretty quick to, uh, to make it back. Well, they're going with an empty backfield, and they're, Dorsey's going to either throw it or, if he needs to, run it. Calling for it, looking to pass. It's a screen. Oh, and uh, it's blown dead. Flag prior to the snap. False start. Okay, False so start. miscues Martin. from North Shore to start it. Salming gets the ball, starts to put something together, miscues. and then the miscues hit for them. Miscues. Week two. Week two. Right now. Almost stronger than week one. Well, actually, I, it, yes. It, it, it is. is stronger than yeah. one. Yeah. And a further march back towards uh, Lake Pontchartrain. <laughs> 8.47 on the clock here in the first as the play comes in from the sideline. Yeah, first and forever. Oh, now what? A timeout called by the Spartans. 8.34 to go here in the first. No score. All right, coming out of the timeout, first and forever for the Spartans. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass. Has Jefferson for protection. Rolling right, and he'll take it himself, rushing forward. And he'll gain about eight on the carry. So he's got eight back. That's not bad. That's a little bit of a movement by Dorsey. So about second and 20 now. Dorsey calls for it. Now rolling to his left. Squares up, slings it out. Oh, my goodness. Intended for uh, Narcisse, but a, a dangerous throw there. Way off the mark on that one. That looked like it was going right to the defensive back. So that will bring up third down for the Spartans. Calling for it. Pressure coming. Now rolling to his left. Here comes a flag. And uh, Dorsey goes out of bounds. Might have a, uh, a hold. I don't know. He dumped that guy, didn't he? I don't know. Hard to tell. When you're not out there, it looks like one thing and it could be something else. So the the penalties continue here early. There it is, a hold called on the Spartans. They're going to decline it. That'll bring up fourth down. So let's see. Looks like the offense remaining out. So welcome to five minutes and 19 seconds so far in, of play of miscue Mis after miscue. Miscues and yeah. – yeah. All right, so it looks – yeah, they're going for it. Trips to the right. Dorsey calls for it. Pressure coming. Dorsey is sacked. And a turnover on downs. That is uh, McGee. I will, will, will venture to say that they probably had 40 yards of – I'm guessing – 40 yards or 45 yards of offense and penalties and everything 35 yards back. So they gained 10 yards but ran out of downs. For sure. A, uh, a regrettable start for both teams. North Shore coming back out. Uh, hopefully they went over to the sideline and talked it over and made That's improvements. It. Wabacher calls for it. Give goes to Cherry. And Cherry is brought down by Beasley. 
pretty much straight ahead there by Cherry. He danced through that hole and picked up a couple of yards. Not bad. Second and seven for the Panthers. These formations are pretty reminiscent of each other right here. Yeah, now tr trips to the right for North Shore. It's to the uh, left side of your screen there. Motion. Calling forward is Wabacher. Looking to pass as pressure bears down. He's going to run. Gets away from three defenders before going out of bounds. Real good job of scrambling there by Wabacher. Uh, sp three Spartans had a shot at him. Nobody brought him down. It's like, uh, can we tackle here now? or <laughs> Wrap up. <laughs> Wrap up. So third down for the Panthers. Hard count. 6.48 on the clock here in the first, so we're coming up on a uh, heat and humidity break. And we're getting it. They got three seconds, two seconds. Wabacher gets it off. Barely. Tossed out to Cherry, looking to cut it up as he gets to the sideline, and he'll be brought down about three yards shy of the first down. Fourth down, fourth down for the Panthers. Wow. I thought at first they were waiting for it to to get down because you'd mentioned the, the, the water timeout at six. But that, that wasn't happening. No. No. <laughs> and so the play clock was on. Play clock got down to one well, yeah. before the, it was called for. Hanrahan back to punt for the Panthers. Low snap. And uh, let's see, we have, oh, they're going to say his knee was down when Ooh. he recovered the low Ooh, snap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my wow. goodness. Ooh. Wow. Wow. The wow. miscues continue. Wow. So the right. Spartans are going to have amazing field position. Again. Again. Yeah, once again. And right now, the game has been played in about a 20, 30-yard area. Right. Right? On, on, this uh, on this left, left side, side of the field. Left side of your screen. And, and they're going to have that water water break. They're taking it a, early. But, hey, water break. 0-0, zero, zero, 6.07 to go here in the first. All right, back from the heat and humidity break. It's a high snap, but Dorsey handles it cleanly, gives it to Jefferson, and he's brought down after a about a four-yard gain, maybe three. High snap that time. He got it down, handed it off. They motioned one way and ran back the other way to try to uh, fool North Shore. Uh, pretty good job by the defensive line there. So second down for the Spartans. Motion from Rayford calling for it. Dorsey looking to pass. Dumps it off. And it's complete to Narcisse, and he's brought down by Fugate. Again, a little misdirection type thing. Send uh, Jefferson to the right and look, turn back over here and throw it to Narcisse in the flat. Pick up a, a two, third down, five. So we were talking about, uh, well, I'll get to that in a second after they run this play. Maybe not. We have a whistle. I think it's – is this going to be a sideline warning on the Spartans? It so is. they're backing yep. everybody up. Yes. The backup coach is not doing his job. And there comes a flag. I would say right now Coach Shooter is not happy. There it is, sideline warning on the Spartans. Third down. Blood, blood pressure on coaches. Shooter just shot up. You need to check the, uh, the Apple Watch. <laughs> Dorsey calls for it. It's a toss out to Jefferson looking to stretch it. 
He gets there, breaks through. That's going to be a first down, and he'll be brought down at about the 10-yard line. In pregame, I was talking about watch out for Jacoby Jefferson. The one thing I watched, I watched some film last week on him, he knows, he sees the opening and just sprints through it. It could be right off left guard, right off right guard, wherever. Right tackle, outside the end, but he sees that open and he runs, sprints through there. First down for the Spartans. I think First coach, from the 11-yard line. I think Coach Shooter just said, let's just settle down and run our stuff. Just take it easy. Oh, Dorsey overthrows, overthrows, overthrows Jefferson. That falls incomplete. So we were talking about kind of in the break, this new press box, beautiful press box. Awesome. But there's a tent on the windows. <laughs> so we were going, why is it so dark, dark out and, there? Yeah, it's like um, I'm going like there. And uh, luckily our buddy Joe Holm from, from the farmer <laughs> pointed out to us, guys, it's the tent. The tent. Look over here. Look on your own TV that you have. Yeah, so how to bright us, it is. It's not that bright. No, it is not. <laughs> and I guess we're not that bright. Yeah, right. We get, you know. <laughs> a toss out to Jefferson coming near side. It saw that hole close and kept cutting it out before being forced out of bounds. Really good field vision. vision. See, and that game, that everybody is kind of you're you're in your offensive lineman. You're here. You're getting over to the next man over is the idea, or get on your man and cover him so that Jacoby can just run and say, "Oh, there's an opening there, and I'll cut and go through it, or I'll get out around the end." Third down and five for the Spartans. Down to six on the play clock. Dorsey calls for it. Surveying the field as pressure bears down. He's going to run it himself, and he'll dive down to the five-yard line. Just a little scramble there. I think he thought he could cut it up and go in the end zone, but good defensive play. It's like heavy package coming in here on fourth down. It's going to be no, it's going to be a field goal team. Uh, Barakat comes out. So a twenty-three yard attempt. Snap is back, kick is up, and it is good. Salmon on the board first. 3.42 to go here in the first. Salmon up 3-0. So Bearcat will kick this one away following the field goal. Kicks this one deep, and it will be returned by Williams. Williams looking to bring it back near side and he'll be brought down at the 30 yard line. So we were asking, are we gonna leave that area where most of this game has been uh, played so far? Not yet. No. <laughs> North Shore has a first down right in the area, right there, right there. Stop by number 13, Carlin Price. I'm wondering so if uh, cameraman Dave Williams might be getting like stiff because he's just standing in one spot right in that area. <laughs> You're right. If you know what I mean. Just kind of locked up. Ooh. So North Shore, North Shore's offense comes out looking to uh, fix the miscues that we've seen in their first two drives. Hand off, and he'll be brought down after about a one-yard gain. That was uh, Ramon Williams on the carry, 5'10 sophomore. This uh, North Shore roster has heights and weights. Oh. Uh, quite the op. The, the first Correct. roster we've received with heights and weights this season. Oh. Seems to be a thing these days. Second down. Uh, and we the have a timeout th on the field. 2.56 to go here in the first. Salmon up 3-0. Yeah. Second down coming out of the timeout. Wabacher calls for it. 
Steps up as pressure bears down, and he's sacked. Sacked by uh, Chansey. And that'll bring, uh, uh, bring up third down for the Panthers. Once again, Tiger, we have still not gotten out of this area here on the left side. Of I, know, I know that we keep saying it only in hopes of, that it would go somewhere else. Motion. Wabacher looking to pass. He launches this one, and it's nearly intercepted. Falls incomplete. It ran a three-man route that time on this side after, after having motioned um, Derek Wabacher out here. And uh, he ran in the flat. Someone ran along, and we had someone in the mid. They... Um, and Donovan tried to go to the long uh, receiver, incomplete. Going to bring up fourth down. So Simmons is back to punt. Originally, he was listed as the long snapper. It's a, it's a promotion. And we have a flag. That was a good punt, a high punt, but uh, we're going to redo it because the flag came out. I thought that was maybe false start on North Shore. Uh, I thought that was going to get blocked. That was awful close. Discussion. Okay, if we do this, it's going to be that. All right, and we have that's what we do. Yep. Legal procedure. Fourth down. They're going to move it back five yards and try it again. So Simmons to punt once again. High snap, handles it and gets it away. Oh, Peter call on and uh, Jaden Scott stops it. There's a little, little fair catch signal. And all of a sudden, the ball, ball dropped short and then went back Salmon's way. And we are over, finally over on this side of the 50-yard line, huh? We are. <laughs> so Salmon starting their drive. This is with the, their worst field position of the night to start a drive. And they're at the, uh, their own 43. Dorsey calls for it. Give goes to Jefferson. And he is brought down for a gain of one. They had a, a fullback in the game that time in the game, and he uh, tried to kick out the end, and they ran inside, which I thought they they did real well last week. Um, but North Shore was not having any of that. Good job by their defensive defensive front. Yeah, Useda on the stop, senior linebacker for the Panthers. Second and nine here for the Spartans with 1.15 to go here in the first. Dorsey slings this one out to Jefferson and he will have a first down. Brought down there by McGee. That's a little bit like a screen pass as he ran out in the flat and he got one of the, the uh, Wide receivers to block for him downfield. Nice pickup. First down, and we have a timeout for an injury. Coming out of the injury timeout, one minute to go here in the first quarter. Wide receivers in tight. Dorsey, oh, the snap gets over his head, and he'll just have to fall on top of it for the loss. Fumble recovered by number five, Cameron Dorsey. 
I'm wondering if both coaches won't be happy to see this quarter end with the amount of mistakes happening. Second and 22. They might. Well, let's see if they get the. Uh, yeah, they have yeah, to get, a, get the they playoffs. Have, yeah, they have to get a playoff. Yeah. Dorsey calling for it. It's fake toss to Jefferson. Rolling out, slings it out, overthrown, intended for Narcisse. And that stops the clock with 9.8 seconds remaining here in the first. Third down for the Spartans. There was a receiver on the backside that was wide open down the field, but that, that wasn't who the play was designed for. So trips to the top of your screen, and the give goes to Jefferson. He'll be brought down after about a six-yard gain, but it's still Jefferson fourth down, and that is the end of the first quarter as Salmon leads 3-0. That's the end of the first quarter. So the punt unit on for the Spartans here at the top of the second quarter. Good snap is back, and wow, the pressure from a North Shore, but it's a booming Great punt for the Spartans. And let's see, they'll pin the Panthers at the three. The good news is we have switched ends of the field. Right, so we will be on this right side. At least for now. There's a Bush with a stellar punt there. First down to so here comes North Shore North looking to yard line. put it all together here as they trail 3-0 at the top of the second. <laughs> Calls for it. From the end zone, and, uh, Cherry, Cherry will gain a yard on the carry. Just straight up, you know, where they are field position-wise, just hand the ball off. Let's let's try to push it out a little bit. Number 55, Darian White. The center. Kevin Kingston, number 54 for the Panthers. Good to see a center wearing number 54, the best number in football. Why might that be? You know. <laughs> oh, let me guess, your number. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a delay here. Is this, is this gonna be a sideline warning on North Shore now? So the get back guys really not doing their jobs tonight. There may be some firings right after this. <laughs> if anything happens by the half. You know, uh, Scott Cochran at Alabama, when he was at Alabama before he went to Georgia, he was uh, Nick Saban's get back guy. And, a and very uh, he was the only guy who could touch Nick Saban on the field to pull him back. Pull him back, yeah. Call him for it and spin move. Carry the ball carry. Bottled up and brought down a gain of – Gain of one makes it third and five for the Panthers. Stop by number 55, Darian White. Third down five, Panthers. Ooh, it's oh, over oh. his head, and a flag comes out, and that is that is very lucky. 
It's, it's, it's a gonna lucky be, false start. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. The lucky false start to evade oh. the uh, the safety. The only thing that could have saved that. I'm thinking right. Little. Well, I, what, what? That's the only thing that could have saved that. Uh, 100. Uh, uh, right. Wow. Man. Referee's writing down. I think he's on his third page. He's writing down. He's writing down the the violation. Uh, got, I'm on. I'm on page three. So Wabacher in the end zone, calls for it. it hand was, off it and was, no. He, he so there goes the off. face mask. Here the ball carrier. So Cherry gets the first down, but there's going to be a face mask call. Uh, I thought uh, I thought that he had, had kept it himself, but it was down Cherry. Three, Weave his way right through there. Wow. And there's the, the book again. <laughs> <laughs> he might need to run to Walgreens at halftime to go get another one. <laughs> I've got we've got extra paper here if he if he needs it. We got personal foul face, face mask. mask against the Spartans. Personal foul. Uh, first face down mask against the Spartans. So he makes a ten-yard run, and they get, end up getting fifteen on top of that, and um, ever so closely yeah, moving, game. moving up the field. Did, did they start at the three-yard line? The three, the, yeah, the, the three-yard three line. Okay. So they're out of the shadow of their own goal at this moment. The yeah, ball is at the uh, 31. And they have a little blown it ready. And it should have been going to. Uh, it's supposed to be. Okay, finally. Snap the, is back. Give the, goes to Cherry. He's met in the backfield, and he's able to get away Cherry from it. Carrier. So it ends up with should have been a loss turns into a six yard gain the play clock was running but the main clock was not running when he signaled it ready for play there was a a gap of a few seconds second and three not that that matters now but maybe later Best drive of the night so far the, for the uh, Panthers. For sure, aided by a 25-yard uh, gain. Oh, and that one is – is that – yeah, is that live? That is live. My goodness, it was a backward pass in and out of his hand. Salmon picks it up and brings it to the end zone. It's uh, Tremont Joseph with the heads-up play there. Backwards pass. And uh, North Shore just letting it go. Wow. Excellent wow. job by Joseph. Excellent job. I'm, I'm with you, too. And Barricat on for the point after. Baja Barricat to attempt the extra point. Wow, what a turn of events there. They get a... Get out of the shadow of their own goal and then throw the ball behind them and the intended receiver doesn't catch it. It goes off his hands and no one reacts to that other than the Salmon defender who runs Tremont it. Tremont Joseph. Tremont Joseph. Big check mark in his box right now. Absolutely. 9.06 to go here in the first half. Salmon up 10-0. Number four, Kaya Williams. Number 10, Jaden Scott. Barricat kicks this one away. And uh, Williams picks it up. And racing forward, he'll be brought down, wrestled down Williams at the 26 turn. yard line on the return. So last outing for uh, North Shore. Resulted in a, a Salmon touchdown. First down, 10 Panthers. Tiger, they're, you know, 8.56 to go here in the first half. They need to put it all together. 
limit the miscues. I thought they were on their way to putting something together. Uh, but in a moment's time, that all kind of disappeared. Here's another chance. They're back out there. High snap. Wabacher looking to pass. Launches this one. Has a man. Diving for it. Is it caught? Oh, they say it hit the ground. Incomplete. incomplete. Oh, no. Oh, here we Is go. Oh, oh, flags come out. It. Yep. You cannot um, gesture as such showing your disagreement with the referees. Sportsmanship, sportsmanship, sportsmanship. Don't give them a reason to penalize you. <coughs> Officials having a conference here. And we're going to have, we got two flags. Oh, it was a cat. Okay, it, so they rule it. They overrule the official, and they say it's a catch, right. but still penalize the unsportsmanlike <laughs> right. after the play. So uh, they're going to mark it 15 from there. So after all the hysteronics, if he just waited for them to have a discussion about it. Word of the day. Hysteronics. There you go. So it is North Shore ball at the thirty eight. By the way, hysteronics, exaggerated, dramatic behavior. End of discussion. You Thank you. So, everybody gets some great sports and some great knowledge. For sure. Hey. Education TV. Ex Education St. Tammany. That's it. A th throwback to the... Uh, the, the, the origins the, the, of the, the prep zone. Uh, correct. <laughs> so first and ten for the Panthers. A high snap. Wabacher handles it, gets it to Cherry. Cherry's He'll be brought Cherry. down after about a four-yard gain. They've had a little success running inside here against the Salmon defense. Second and six for the Panthers. Two to the bottom of your screen. Calling for it. Give goes to Cherry once again and stays on his feet, lunging forward, and that'll be a first down. Great run inside. It looked like he was going to be tripped up. He stepped out of that, kind of hopped out of it, and uh, got a first down. Yeah, excellent job by Cherry to keep those legs churning. Down to 7.20 to go here before the half. Give up, well, fakes the give. Wabacher will keep it himself, pulling it, and a gain of about one Wabacher's on the keeper. Here. I don't know if you've been noticing it, but there have been the the, the snaps have all been yeah, kind of high, high. sometimes over the head, right? But they're all high, which makes it difficult to have that mesh between the quarterback and the running back. 
it's not in one fluid motion. You're having to worry about it. And Where's timing. It? Timing exactly. gets off, you know. So if it comes right to the gut, it's in that spot you needed to catch it and get it to the running back. Exactly. Snap is back. Wabacher looking to pass as pressure bears down, and he'll keep it himself again, and he'll be dropped Wabacher, for uh, no gain. So third down for the Panthers, and uh, we're going to go to a heat and humidity break. Salmon up 10-0 here in the second quarter. Officials time out on the field. Third down, coming out of the heat and humidity break. Third down, 10 Panthers. A signal coming in from Coach Sanders. Five on the play clock. Calls for it. Looking to pass. Pressure bearing down, and he's going to be sacked. Sacked for a loss of four. Going to bring up fourth down now. Punting situation again. So Hanrahan and company come out to punt this one away. Sacked by number 55, Darian White. Check that, uh, Simmons and company. Simmons is doing double duty tonight. Defensive Panthers. lineman. And punter. And punter. It was originally a long snapper. Desmond Beasley, Jalen Robinson back to return for the Spartans. Low snap. Simmons fields it cleanly and gets a booming punt away. And Salmon gets away from it. North Shore will down it at the 11-yard line. Seemed like too many black jerseys right there. Once it starts bouncing, you have to go in the opposite direction. Okay, when that Peter call is made, run, run away. away. Run away. When I was playing in high school, they used to tell us, look, if it's bad luck and you're running away after we've called Peter and that ball lands on you, we're not going to be too upset with you. But if you're near it and you walk uh, into it, it or, yeah. or something ridiculous yes. happens, you're going to be in trouble. You don't, you're, if you're not trying to get away from it, yeah. yes, of course. So... After what seems like a good seven minutes, we have... Flip the field, and we're back over here on the left. Play clock down to three here for the Spartans. Taking Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass now. Plenty of time. Oh, now Bottled pressure up. bears down. He's in oh. his own end zone. Ooh. And he will be wow. pushed out of bounds, not brought down, pushed out of bounds. Lucky to not have been sacked just then. It looked like Sean Collins had a beat on him but was unable to get there. Oh, we got a, we have a penalty there. White hat. Says Illegal shift. shift. I guess. So decline. decline. They decline it. Second down. Yeah. So second and 14, 15 now as they move the down box. 4.53 to go here in the second. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass. Launches this one, and it's complete. Out to uh, Caleb Rayford. Brought down by Dukes. Rayford on a simple uh, stop route. Shows that he's going to go long and then stops and turns around. And, and Dorsey put it right on the money. Yeah, the and we have moving now. Yeah, we have a first down. So yeah, first we heard down. the announcement. We just didn't see the chains move. Well, they didn't. So the down box was <laughs> setting on first down, but it was at the end of the chain. So now it's all good. Dorsey calls for it. Delayed give to Jefferson. And uh, Jefferson, the ball carrier. he rushes forward for a gain of about three on the carry. Patient there, waiting to see what was going to open oh, up in front of him. Very patient. Took off. L look, 
Started left and then saw a little bit of a hole that he could work through. There was a blitz coming from the backside towards him. So he, he, it's one of those situations. I'm going to take what I can get. Second down and six for the Spartans. Looking to pass is Dorsey. Launches this one, and it's picked off. Going the other way for the Panthers. And still on his feet and going. He'll be brought down. That is uh, Jonel Scott, a senior DB for the Panthers. And that's a, a, a great spark for them, a good turnover. Maybe the, the offense come out and great get on the board. Great field position because they have been moving the football the last couple of times. Just had – had so far to go, 93 yards one time. Um, and so now, really good field position on the turnover. Great opportunity for them to uh, get on the board. Get on the board. Get something going here. The 10 0, Salmon leading. But, uh, North Shore will start this drive at the right at the 40-yard line. Did we have a penalty there? I didn't see it. Because it seemed like that he was further up. I think I saw the referee putting his pad away. The legal block below the waist is a penalty. First down, 10 Panthers. And keeper from Wadbacher racing forward, still on his feet. Oh, he loses it. He loses it. Let's see who's going to come up with it. Salmon saying they have it. They're running the clock, and they say no. North it's down. Shore North Shore got it. Nice. That time, Wildbacher faked the handoff and kept it himself, and it was almost like everybody was in disbelief. Kingston came up with it. Kevin Kingston, number 54. Yeah, of course. A great number, especially when a center wears it which they usually do wear a 50. <laughs> oh, and he's bottled up in the backfield and slung down. Number 31, uh, Jimmy Chansey. A stoppage. This will be an official timeout. So official timeout, 226 to go. Here in the first half, Salmon up 10-0. So the issue is a play clock issue. They're going to keep it. Oh, now they won't. It's working. Okay, they had a chance to reset it uh, up here in the booth. Motion across, and the give goes for a m maybe a, a couple inches. So that was uh, Ramon Williams. On the carry. Uh, DeRayon Jenkins on the tackle. <clears throat> 146 to go here before half. And North Shore would love to get on the board before half. Wabacher pitches it out to Williams. And uh, Williams he here. will barrel forward. For a gain of about seven. He got the edge. Check that, make but, it six. Yeah, but that'll bring up fourth down. You got to go for it here. Oh, yeah. One thirteen to go in the half. Fourth down, five Panthers. That play clock is not running. Hopefully they're keeping it another way. And, and All right, 
right. What, yeah. It will be. <laughs> Let's take a timeout because we don't know exactly what we want to run, and the play clock's not working. So 47 seconds to go here before the half. Salmon up, 10-0. All right, it's a field goal attempt for the Panthers. Hanrahan will attempt it. Snap is back. Kick is up from Hanrahan, and it's no good. good. So that Salmon defense holds once again, and uh, North Shore's offense still shut out. 41 seconds to go here before the half. What do you think we see from the Salmon offense here with 41 seconds? Just run the ball straight ahead. Let's go to the half with a 10-0 lead. Nothing cute. No need to be cute right here. So they're trying to decide where to spot it. It's never good to not know where to spot it. What are they waiting on? Is Salmon? No, nope, that's 11. Is he just worried about the play clock? Come on. <laughs> oh, I think he was trying to see if he was on, and he couldn't get the official's attention. Uh, and, oh, Jefferson dropped in the backfield. Jacoby Jefferson brought down here. by uh, McGee. Stopped by number five, Sean Collins. So Simon will probably just run one more play and take it to the locker room. I mean, is there four? There's, is there is there forty seconds between each? Thing? So then, is that yeah, right? they're just, they're just yeah. going to go to the half. Yeah. yeah, Coach Shooter telling the team to take it to the half. Yeah. As uh, the clock will run out, ticking down from seven seconds. Salmon leading 10-0 here at halftime in this rivalry matchup.
The Panther Band is under the direction of Joshua Stearman and Jess Lambert, Lynette Kenyon, and Abby Booth. Evans. The band is led by our drum majors Robert Toto Pierce, Lily Ross, and Alicia Burnett. Band captains are Jenny Wynn, Mian Wong, Brittany Silva, and Gabriella Ham. The drum captain is Trey Markadell. Section leaders are India Morgan, Isaiah Gutierrez, Bradley Bagano, Juanea Caraway, and Israel Puckett. The Salmon High Sip Spinner flag team is under the direction of Mrs. Glover. Flag captain is Kamara Simmons along with co-captain Trinity Richard. Now with the Spartan Band, we'll open with our 2023 Rihanna Halftime Show with All the Lights by Rihanna with Kanye West. The second song is Only Girl in keeping with the Rihanna theme.
partners as the band plays your salmon bite song. Go Spartans! Hanrahan will kick it away to get the second half underway. He'll boot it deep, and it will be returned from the three-yard line. Racing to the middle, looking to cut it up. On the return there was uh, Jalen Robinson. So Salmon will start this drive in their own territory. And, uh, Tiger Salmon up 10-0. Yes, miscues, really, uh, mistakes by um, North Shore. A, a, a touchdown on a um, ball thrown behind um, behind the passer, which resulted in a fumble, and that was run in by Salmon. So big mistake there. Uh, of course, they got a field goal from Barakat uh, to be up 10 nothing. but neither team has been playing – Super solid here. Handoff to Jefferson. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Makes another miss Jefferson before being pushed out of bounds. Hard running from Jefferson. The North Shore defense has done an excellent job of uh, bottling up Jefferson, who last week had over 200 yards rushing. So kudos so far to the, the Panther defense. So, Salmon lining up here, Ten, down to 10 on the play clock. Calling for it, slings it out to Jefferson. Makes one miss. That first guy never gets him. No, he's got to move or a spin or steps out of a tackle. And... Uh, Stop by number 99. Brings up third and one now for the, for the Spartans. Third down one, Spartans. And uh, Jefferson comes out, in goes Desmond Beasley. Calls for it. Give goes to Beasley, and Beasley has the first down. Number 23, Desmond Beasley, the ball carrier. They basically had a little offset eye formation right there, and you figured they were going to run the ball on third and one, which they did. Picked up a first down, fresh set of downs now for the Spartans, who have kind of sputtered all evening offensively um, and oftentimes shot themselves in the foot when they get to a position where they, they, they could get, they're getting something going. First and 10. Dorsey calls for it. Give goes to Beasley, and he's dropped in the backfield. It's Wyatt Sistrunk and uh, Fugate. Excellent job by them. Just right by the offensive lineman and made the stop. Second down, 13 Spartans. Nine fifty-six to go here in the third. Trips to the right for the Spartans. Dorsey looking to pass, slings it, picked off once again, and this time picked off by Jackson Fugate. Just a simple drops back and actually throws it right to, just kind of flings it and threw it right to the defensive back, which he did before. So um, I don't know, the other guys are in white jerseys, your guys are in black jerseys, throw it to the black jersey guy. 9.40 to go here in the third as the uh, Salmon defense is quickly out there ready to go. They want to get that ball back. North Shore. 
making sure they get that offense together, get them in the right headspace so that they can try and get on the board here. Yeah, they, they too have sputtered, but to me it seemed to have done better. Wabacher high snap. Wabacher chasing it down. He'll dive on top of it. My goodness. Salmon gets the ball back. And I, I referenced this in the first half. The snaps have all been high. One was over his head. It would have been a safety, which would have been catastrophic. As it turns out, they had a, a motion penalty, a legal procedure penalty, and so that was wiped off. They got another chance to move the ball out, but you, you can't keep making the same mistakes. So Salmon with the ball at the uh, 47. And Alfred Smith was a late arrival onto the field. Calls for it. Dorsey looking to pass. Launches this one, and it is incomplete. Intended there for Caleb Rayford. Right in and out of. So both teams have had situations where the wide receiver was open. Both dropped it. Second and ten for the Spartans. This more this game so far seems more like week one. Yes. Right? And Second week two, you've point. cleaned all that up, or at least partial. But not so fast. Dorsey slings it out, and it's incomplete. Pass, it Through the hands of uh, Robinson. Robinson. The intended receiver. Third down, ten so points. third and ten now for the Spartans. Dorsey had a real good week last week. It was uh, 9 of 12, I believe, for 103 yards. And, but this week, not so good so far. On third and 10, motion. Dorsey calls for it. And Dorsey keeps it, pointing for blocks. And that will be fourth down Here and four. For the Spartans after the Dorsey keeper or designed run. Yeah. Hey, where was that? Where's that run been? Fourth down, five Spartans. Punt unit comes out. Number eight, Damon Narcisse into punt for the Spartans. Narcisse will punt it away. The returner for North Shore is Kyle Williams. Number four, Kyle Williams back to return for the Panthers. Low punt. Bounces. Williams will return it. Heading up the far sideline and pushed out of bounds. With the return. So North Shore with another opportunity. Great job by the uh, North Shore defense there. Absolutely. Uh, gave up a first down and then shut down Salmon. That's just kind of the... That's, that's the sputtering effect that we were talking about. Both sides have had that. They Three or four plays look pretty good, and then not so good after that. Eight thirty-three to go here in the third. And Wabacher will keep this one. He'll be brought down after a three-yard gain. That was, that was good. I'm sorry. Uh, Darion Jenkins. That was supposed to be a – He that, that that's a little option play where he could toss it, do a little toss and let his running back get outside or keep it himself, depending on what the defensive end did, right? right. That time he kept it and uh, made about four. Wabacher calling for it, looking to pass. Slings it out, and it broken up, nearly picked off by uh, Tremont Joseph. Good job of getting his hand out there. Just a simple route that time, and uh, 
Joseph was able to reach up and knock it down. So third down for the Panthers. In at running back is uh, Ramon Williams. Wabacher calls for it. Launches this one. Has a man. Oh, it's picked off by Salmon. Picked off by number 34, Cameron Robinson. There is a flag down on the field, though. That one had a lot of, a uh, while back, I put a lot of air under that. And so the defender was able to get underneath it and snag it. <coughs> but we have a penalty. Holding on Salman prior to the interception. Oh. Woo. Wow. So a break for the Panthers. Big time. Can they take advantage? Wabacher calling for it. Now he'll keep it racing ahead. Wabacher's got some wheels. He does. First down. Again, kind of faking. Little option. Is he going to toss it out to his running back or is he going to take it himself? He saw an opening and he sprinted right through it. Man, I thought he had a first down. He was he's a just yard shy. A yard shy. Second down for the Panthers. They look to uh, complete a drive. They've gotten some yardage out of that play. They'll come to back to that at some point. Wabacher calling for it. Give goes to Williams. He's met in the backfield and Williams dropped by number 31, uh, Chansey. Chansey almost took the handoff. Yeah, he ran right through. And as soon as Williams got the ball, Chansey was there. That's a loss of six? Yeah. Yep. Third and seven. Third and, right. Third, uh, second and one became third and seven. Big play there by the Salmon defense. Play clock's down to nine as a uh, play comes in from the sideline. Still confused. Yeah, down to four the... now. Wabacher. Just in time. Pressure coming. Still looking downfield. It, oh, my goodness. Nearly picked off. That was thrown right to Desmond Beasley. Beasley you could put his hands on his head right away. No, oh man, that was my shot. Going to bring up fourth down now. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, uh, it's declined. It, okay. Ooh. Fourth, fourth down. Fourth down. Out comes Simmons to punt this one away, and Beasley will go back to return the punt. Beasley and uh, Jalen Robinson. Number nine, Grant Simmons to punt for the Panthers. Desmond Beasley and Jalen Robinson back to return for the Spartans. Snap is back. And Simmons booms Ooh. this one. And Beasley hauls it in. That looked scary. That one was uh, close. Um, that was that one was almost a rainmaker. It almost hit up in the clouds and, and dropped some rain. And uh, good job of fielding that one. So let's see it first and 
10 for Salmon, but uh, we're at the six-minute mark on the clock, so I'm wondering if they're going to call this a heat and humidity break. Yep, there it is. There it is. Heat and humidity break. Six minutes to go here in the third. Salmon up, 10-0. After the heat and humidity break, Dorsey calling for it and keeps it, pulls it from Jefferson and keeps it, and he'll go out of bounds. Uh, he'll be about two yards shy of the first down. So both teams realizing that their running backs are carrying the ball and not really, sometimes, but not really getting a lot of yards, have decided to fake and let the quarterback keep it. A little bit of success on both sides. For sure. Second and two. This time, Give goes straight ahead to Jefferson, and he is driven back, brought down by a host of Panthers there, led by Sean Collins. Collins did a heck of a job. He's got to go off the field because his helmet came off. 6'2", 250-pound senior for the Panthers. Quite a force up in the front. <clears throat> so third down for the Spartans. Third down for Spartans. Calling for it. Slings this one out. Jefferson hauls it in, makes one miss. Gets away from second and third and fourth and fifth. Still on his feet. And that's a first down for the Spartans. It's like stepping out and pushing the guy down. Next, next, who's next, who's next? Boom. Good, good job by him. I was about to say, the bunch of them just throw it out to him in the flat and see what they can do. We're going to step away for an injury timeout. First down, 10 Spartans. Following the injury timeout, Spartans first and 10 pitch or uh, toss to Jefferson, and he'll gain six on the carry. There's that toss play they ran in the first half. He's trying to get outside, but if not, great vision, cut it back inside, pick up six. Second, down four Second and four for the Spartans. You know, we've seen through this game flashes of brilliance. On it's both just, sides. It's just finishing it. On both right. sides, yeah. yeah. It seems it, like finishing it is the issue. Right. It's like two, three plays, four plays, uh, problem, move back. Right. You know, or a mistake or turnover or something. Jefferson on the carry coming back near side, cuts it back to the middle, Jefferson and he'll be brought here. down. by Milasevic. Stop by number five, Sean Collins. He picked up one. It's third and third three. three third and three. Yeah. 3.50 to go here in the third. Dorsey calls for it. Give goes to Beasley. He's met in the backfield and brought down Beasley, the ball by Sean Collins. He motioned a guy five, to the left and ran back to the right, Three and six, North Shore was not having any of that. Great job by those guys up front for the Panthers. Number eight, Damon Arcees in the punt for the Spartans. Number four, Kyle Williams back to return. So Narcisse back to punt. Williams back to return. <laughs> oh, short it's man. A fake. fake punt. My goodness, and they got there. Wow. Wow. Markel Keys on the carry. <laughs> Coach Shooter dusted off the old fake punt right there. And look, they the offense was getting ready to in front of the huddle there under the tent, and uh, they just had to be waved. Hey, come back on the field. It's still our ball. 
obviously they, so they, they faked out the offense too. Well, that's they didn't want to let them to, know. To telegraph it. Right. They didn't want to telegraph it. Make it look like this is what we're doing. Wow. wow. Shooter bag of tricks uh, pulls off a first down for the Spartans. Toss to Jefferson once again. He's hitting. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, what a run. It's like he squeezed through three guys and picked up a yard. He ran 12 yards and got one. Yep. But a lot of people missed him in the meantime. How about the hard running there? So uh, uh, we're going to step away for an injury timeout. Following the injury timeout, it's second and nine. A tremendous run on the previous play. Breaking tackles. And Dorsey sacked, so Dorsey that'll drop him back. Field. Defense. Five, Sean Collins. Defenses have been big. Real big. That was Sean Collins again. The Salmon offensive line having trouble blocking Mr. Collins as he's uh, upset the apple cart more than one or two times this evening. 146 to go here in the third. Give goes to Jefferson. Breaks, breaks free, room to run, and he will be brought down at about the original the line of scrimmage. But uh, once again, per usual, par for the course, it took the fourth guy to bring him down. And I'm going to tell you something. If that guy didn't bring him down, he was going to go the distances. He had a blocker out here, and all he would have had to do was get a chip on somebody's shoulder and – He'd have been Injury off to the races. Good defense, though. Let's face it. They bring him down. Once again, we have an injury timeout. We'll step away. Narcisse on fourth down to punt this one away. Punt it away. And back to return is McGinnis. McGinnis. Break it, gets away from one, and he actually great job by uh, Rayford to turn, run, and he was able to get him. So uh, McGinnis should have let the ball go in the end zone, with the return. and then the ball would have been out to the 25, right? Or 20? And I'm sure they will tell him that on the, uh, 25. On the yeah. sideline. Yeah, uh, what were you thinking? Son, if you're standing around the two-yard line, let it, and it has enough momentum, let it go in the air. But that was the first we'd seen uh, McGinnis tonight. You know, he probably is in the moment where he wants to return uh, the ball. Course, He's out course. there under the lights. Of course. I'm going to take it 98 here. So, uh, yeah, he'll get a uh, – he'll be – that will be corrected. That likely will not happen again with McGinnis. Film study – uh, whenever that takes place. 45 seconds to go here uh, in the third quarter. Calling for it is Wabacher, and it's the designed run once again. He'll be stopped by Salmon after a gain of one. Again, that was that little option play because he's got, he's got someone off to his left, here which is here. Ramon Williams, and he could toss it to him or pitch it to him option-wise. They pull a backside guard to kind of lead their way, and uh, success on that has been good in the past. Not so much that time. Yeah, Dwayne Hartley on the stop, and I think North Shore is content to let this one run out maybe because we're down to three seconds on the game clock. Yep, there's the buzzer. So we're heading to the fourth with Salmon up 10-0. All right, top of the fourth, Wabacher and company, second and nine. Fakes to give to Williams, and he'll take it himself straight ahead. Room to run, and wow. he will have the first down and some. Well, we, we, we talked about it just a little while ago. 
Except this time he ran it up the middle, and he was like like shot out of a gun, man. But we got a man down, and we we're gonna take a timeout. 11:52 to go in this one. 10-0, Salmons. Eleven forty on the clock here, coming out of the injury timeout. Wabacher calls for it, slings it out, complete to Derek Wabacher. Ball Wabacher. comes loose, and Salmon has it. They're going to talk about it. I think. Let's see what the officials are going to call here. Injury timeout on the field. We're going to have an injury timeout, but we're going to stick with it here to see if the uh, officials make a call. Talking it over. It was a big hit. Uh, talking it over to uh, see whether or not he was down before that ball came out. Talking it over with the coaching staff. All right, so personal foul targeting called on Salmon. 15 yard penalty, and it'll rem it's personal North Shore right. ball. Right. All right, so now we're going to step away for the injury timeout. Following the injury timeout, it is. North Shore ball, first and 10 at the uh, 47. Wabacher looking to pass, slings it out, complete for a six yard gain out to, to uh, Hanrahan. The number 19, Ethan Hanrahan. So that makes it second and four. This penalty gives new life to the uh, the Panthers here, and they complete a pass. Wabacher has pressure coming. He'll take it himself straight ahead, oh, and he'll be about a yard shy of the first down. So third and one for the Panthers. Under a lot of pressure there, Wabacher just tucked it and ran. Good play by him. Third and one. 10-17 to go here in the game. Keeps it himself. Dives forward, and that's a first down for the Panthers. That's that same little option play he has where he could toss it out. Um to Ramon Williams, he, instead he tucks it and runs and picks up a first down, first down 10. Not wasting any time now. Yeah, right back to it, Wabacher calling for it. Give goes to Williams straight ahead. And he is, he just puts his head down and goes forward. Squirts right through there. He'll be about two yards shy of the first down. Oh, make it uh, about five. Two or five, you know, you know, give or take three. Wabacher calling in the play to the offensive line. Steps up, pressure coming, he's sacked. Brought down by number 16, uh, Darion Jenkins. Okay, here's, here's my thoughts right here. They just picked up a first down because they got up to the line and run the play. 
to me, it, it's taken too long. Get up, have a play, get up to the line, get this thing going. Take the advantage to them. Don't give them a break. Absolutely. It's kind of the one adva advantage that you have on offense is you control the tempo, you control your game. Coming long on Slings this side. It. Wabacher. Oh, it's caught. Man. First down and the big gain. Oh, Salmon wanted a uh, – they wanted a call for a push-off. I uh, couldn't tell. I don't know if, if the defensive back slipped down or was pushed down. I, hard to tell from here. But I would say um, he, he was – you could tell he looked out here to the right and that's where he was going to go. Jaden Scott hauled that one in, the 6'1 uh, senior. First and 10. Play clock to five. Calls for it. Launches this one to the end zone, and it is incomplete. And here comes a flag late. Wallbacker's pass ball is incomplete. Interesting if it's P.I. thrown by an official who was by the goalpost when there was an official right in front. He does call it. There was an official right there in front of the whole interaction there who didn't right. throw his flag. Right. Coach Shooter is not liking this. He's pointing down there and saying there's a guy down there. He doesn't call it. And somebody's from left field. It's going to be a first down inside the 10 yard. First and goal now. Aided, so aided by two penalties. The chains are up. Is this, this is first and one. What? Okay. My bad. My bad. I thought they weren't down there. Whatever, mind. First and one. Calls for it. Wabacher. He's going to keep it himself. He keeps it, and he oh. is close. Is he in? Oh, they're going to say he was Wabacher down short at the one. Right. Salmon defense that hasn't had an answer for, for Wabacher. I can tell you that in and the second half. So now, okay, he's, there, he's down at the two, but first and goal from the two now. Finally. Okay. North Shore looking to finish this drive. Get on the board. That Salmon defense has been out there a long time. High snap. Wabacher keeps it, and he is bottled up Wabacher, and brought down. And we got a flag. By number 70, Coleman. I'm thinking a little motion, maybe. Waved off. Waved off. Okay. All right. So, no second and goal from the four now. 6.46 to go in this. Big crucial downs right here for the Panthers. They're going left side with the quarterback on that little fake toss. Keep No. Wabacher does oh, keep yeah, it. He yeah, is brought yeah, down. down. It was yeah. sniffed out by the Spartans. Now it's Dwayne Hartley on the stop. Good play by Hartley right there. So third and seven, or third and goal from the from the seven. And uh, this may get us down to, let's see if they get the playoff or if we just go to the hydration break. We're going to run a play. Wabacher calling for it. Lofts it to the end zone. It is well overthrown and falls incomplete. incomplete. That'll be fourth, fourth down. down. And we are going to step away for the final heat and humidity break of the game. 
5.56 to go here in the fourth. Salmon up 10-0. So we were having a discussion in the break as to what they were going to do, go for it or send the field goal unit. Here's the field goal unit out to attempt the field goal. Kick is up, and it is through. So North Shore is on the field board now. 5.52 to go here in the fourth. Salmon still up 10 to three. So after the field goal, Hanrahan to kick this one away, they kick it deep. This will be returned from the six. Racing forward, still on his feet. He'll be brought down. So Salmon has the lead 10-3, 5.43 to go here in the game. Oh, man, anything can happen now. And injury we're going to step away for an injury timeout. First and ten for the Spartans. The toss to Jefferson, and he'll be brought down in the backfield. Number seven, Jackson Fugate. We've said that name a few times. Quite a bit. He's a... Uh, Made a, a big impact on this defense tonight. Loss of two. I hope that Coach uh, Shooter is going to slow down. That's what it seems like. They he, know he, the clock's their friend at this point. Right. But it's a lot of time to run off, 507. Right. Calls for it. Fakes the toss to Jefferson. He'll keep it himself. And he wants to stay inbounds. So he dives forward. The ball carrier. And that makes it third and 11. Third down 11, Spartans. Third and 11. This is exactly what the Panthers wanted to do here, is uh, shut them down on this field, force them to punt, and see if they can string together another uh, rolling right. Slings it out, and that is going to be incomplete intended out there for Robinson. Even if he caught it, he was down. And fourth down. Here's the one thing that's not good. It stopped the clock. Yes. 4.19 to go here in the game. And uh, punt unit on. Narcisse will punt. And the Marshall commit, Kyle Williams, is back to return. High punt. That one goes out of bounds. First down, 10, 10, so North Shore will have... Four minutes and 13 seconds to go 60 yards. They're taking their time to talk it over, the uh, offensive unit on the side. First and 10, calling for it, slings it out. That's complete to McGinnis. McGinnis bringing it upfield, room to work with, and he'll be wrestled down after about an eight-yard gain. Good start here for the Panthers. Stop by number 16, Darion Jenkins. Second down, two Panthers. So second and two. And is this going to be a false start? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So now brings it back second and seven. The 
clock's running. Wabacher no handles urgency. the high snap, launches this one into double coverage, and it is yeah, incomplete. incomplete. Almost incomplete. picked off. And up uh, we have, Do we have hel the helmet tapping. Is he going to? Yep, we're going to step away for the injury timeout. Coming out of the injury timeout, third down for the Panthers. 3.19 to go here in the game. Big, big, big play. Even if it goes to fourth down, they'll they'll go for it. Let's Wabacher see. looking to pass as pressure comes, slings it out. It's complete, and he is a yard short as uh, Kyle Williams hauls that one in. The turf monster got him, and he's a yard shy. It's fourth and one for the Panthers. Injury timeout on the field, and we're going to step away for the injury timeout. North Shore trailing by seven. And it's fourth and one. Down and one. Make some noise. Wabacher. Oh, high snap. Wabacher takes it. He gets the first. first. down. That's a first wow. down for the Panthers. What a save wow. by Wabacher. What a save. My goodness, fresh set of downs for the Panthers. But uh, as soon as they set this, that clock is oh, – there it goes. It's running. Wabacher looking to pass. Lofts this one up, and it's incomplete. Uh, that one into double coverage again. Wabacher's pass ball is incomplete. Jaden Scott was open as the two defensive backs were a little short, but the ball was short. So incomplete pass. Clock has stopped. 2.17 to go in this one. Second down, 10. So second and 10. And the play clock already down to 17. If I were making changes over there at at North Shore, I'd be picking up the pace on this. Uh, Down to five. These plays. Calls for it. Looking to pass. Pressure bearing down. Launches it. And it's oh. overthrown. Wow. Intended for uh, Hanrahan. Number one rule. Number one rule. Don't get beat deep. And the, the defensive back on that sideline stood on that sideline. And Hanrahan ran right by him. Lucky break for Salmon, though. It was oh, yeah. thrown. It was overthrown, and falls incomplete. Two twelve here as it's third and ten for the Panthers. <laughs> Trips to the bottom of your screen. Oh no! A high snap over Wabacher's head, and he has to fall on it. Oh, no, that's going to back him up, and it's fourth down. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, do they think they're – do they have timeouts? Uh, the scoreboard says three. Yeah, the scoreboard says they have three. But, I mean and, – and they're taking one now. Somebody is. Timeout on the field. 2-0-1 to go here in the fourth. Salmon up 10-3. Fourth down here. North Shore has to go for it. Calls for it. Pressure bearing down. He is sacked. Brought down by number 58, Dwayne Hartley. And a flag comes out late. Flag after the play. So, 153 
to go here in the game, and Salmon can, the clock is their friend. Give will go straight ahead to Jefferson. He'll gain about three on the carry, and uh, North Shore runs down and takes a timeout. So one, well, they're, they pointed as if it was a timeout, but nobody's going, there we go, going off the field. Uh, 146 to go here in the fourth. Salmon up 10-3. Coming out of the timeout, second down for the Spartans. And give goes to Jefferson. He bounces it outside. Wow. Jefferson has a first down. Wow. Excellent That was running. huge right there. Looked like he was bottled up to the right and then shot right through that. Jefferson's a special player, man. Did I mention that in the first half? Before the game, excuse me. You mentioned me. it in the stand-up. You mentioned it in the first half. <laughs> All right. You're mentioning it now. Okay. Yeah, Jefferson is. Jefferson if it's is, overkill, just stop me. No, he uh, is, he's tremendous. You, you got to admire that it's never, never the first guy that takes him down. That is a, a good attribute to have for a running back, isn't it? So they're going to let this one run down. And is North Shore going to take their final timeout? They do. Timeout on the field, 106 to go here in the game. Salmon up 10 3. First down, Coming out of the timeout, it's first and 10 for Salmon. Jeff give goes to Jefferson, breaks away from the third and fourth guy. It takes the fifth guy to bring him down, and that is another first down for the Spartans. Player of the game, yeah, yeah. Jefferson. Just uh, try to wrap that up. He went left and he went right, and the whole time he was running. And it'll come down. There'll be one more play after this play. Yeah, play clock to 19. Calls for it. Give goes to Jefferson, and he will be bottled up and brought down. And that, well, huh? the clock stopped. Huh? Huh? Is that a timeout? Uh, yeah, I don't think. I don't think North Shore had enough. Well, uh, a timeout is called. So 21 seconds to go here in the game. Salmon up 10-3. No, they're, they're just Victory formation for the Spartans, the greatest formation in all of football. And there's the knee, and Salmon will be victorious here week two in this rivalry matchup against North Shore. They exact some revenge out of last season in the playoffs when they lost Absolutely. to North Shore. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so Salmon will win it 10-3, and let's – Send a thank you to those who help bring you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Jabia, supervisor of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor, and coordinator, Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams, color analyst, Coach Tiger Edwards from Salmon High School, where the Spartans are victorious, 10-3. My name is Grant Yenny. Good night.